Here it is. Do your dance, Keith. Do your chicken mash and dance, buddy. Having a good time. Having a good time. Chopping a chicken. Here we are at the Kentucky Fried Chicken. Do they have breakfast Mountain Dew now? What do you mean breakfast Mountain Dew? There's a breakfast Mountain Dew at Taco Bell. They call no. it Mountain Dew AM. It's for kids. That can't be real. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> Hi there. May I please have uh, two chicken pot pie combos? What can I drink? Can I get the, is that Mountain Dew Sweet Lightning? Do you have any buttered peas? Any one, sorry? Uh, no, that's it. Come to the window, please. Here's your pie. Yes, yeah, sir. Here's my, here's your, now this one is a, what's it called? A, a spork. spork. Yeah, because but I got one from them earlier that really was a food. There's no such thing as a food. There this is. Thing. I had one that was straight edged, That's like a, a fork. Spoon. Oh, the straight edge? No, I don't believe this. it. Was a food. I, it's a food. Fork Straight edge kids are always the weirdest. That's true. This. <laughs> They are uh, very odd. Do you like just go in the middle? I like kind of oh. start on the side because I like the crust so much. And also it's so hot. It is so hot. It's lava hot. It's also kind of like, I love the pot pie. You love the pot pie. It's almost the worst thing to eat on a steaming hot day in Burbank, California. <laughs> yeah. In your car. If it's not clear by our glowing white bodies in the sunbeam, <laughs> it's warm. In just a dirty white Nissan <laughs> parked at a park. Oh God, oh my God. How did you get that inside of you? It was so hot. You shouldn't have. <laughs> Big mistake, I'm almost crying. <laughs> Where do they keep these? So most fast food restaurants, they have, you know, a hundred things made of the same few things. Yeah. There is no other pie crust used. No. There is no other peas used. I don't believe there are carrots used. Not the, right. Like where are like the potatoes aren't even the potatoes that go into their mashed no, potatoes. They literally did this because we've we've seen the same Reddit video. We've even talked about this in the yeah. past. It's leftover fried chicken that's being used in there. It's pulled. Which is to say they were trying to save money, but then now they're buying all these carrots and peas and pie crusts. And they don't advertise it at all. No. <laughs> Most people don't know it's here. This exists. They have the KFC famous bowl. <laughs> Which is sort of like a bad version of this. No. Oh. I will say though, this is such an actually good fast food mm -hmm. item. How are you going to make it better? I don't know if we can make it better. We can make some fancier lateral moves though. Okay. Start with chicken. Chicken's tough to make really fancy, but we can get some like good heritage breed. We're gonna fry it first. We're gonna do a hell of a brine. Uh, we're gonna get some really flavorful stuff in there. We can get weird with the broth that goes into the stock, obviously. Uh, I got a little idea. You a ramen guy? I love ramen. I love ramen too. I love ramen. Take some inspiration from that. We I gotta work ramen. it out for us though. Are you ready to get your hands dirty? I'm ready to get my hands dirty. Let's do it. I don't do. I, back, don't, I never fry chicken, so I'm excited to, to do it. We're we're gonna we're gonna gonna do a lot of that. Cheers. Get to it. Keith, we gotta make a damn pot pie. How do we do that? We were talking about one of the reasons the pot pie is so good is that it actually starts with KFC chicken. They use the leftover chicken, which that was, I believe, uh, put out in a Reddit thread and a bunch of people were mad. They're like, oh, you're using the old chicken. That's the way to go. That's the way to, and it's environmentally conscious. When you think about environment, think about Colonel Sanders. Absolutely you do. He was from Kentucky. They have an environment. They sure do, they uh -huh. sure do. And so we're gonna break down this chicken uh, and then we are going to brine it in a mixture of a bunch of delicious things. These are the original 11 herbs and spices. I'm fully convinced. How do you know? There was a woman named Claudia Leddington who worked for Colonel Sanders back in the original restaurant, which you've been to Corbin, Kentucky. You've been to the hometown. I've been there. I've been to the first spot. You did Don't you, act so special. Did you, you know act like it? you just won a beauty pageant. <laughs> I've, been, I've been to Corbin. Well, I've I been have. to Corbin. KFC started as a gas station, and then it was a hotel. I still get my gas at KFC. But then it was a restaurant. Wait, really? Yes. That's actually really cool. He was an entrepreneur. I don't remember if it was the hotel first or the gas station first, but they had a hotel and a gas station. The way he advertised for the hotel was by putting a dummy room in the gas station. So when uh, the, the husband and wife came in, the wife would see the hotel room demo and be like, honey, we should just stay here. And then eventually he was like, we gotta feed these people too. So he started making fried chicken. I just like to sleep out back in the Arco in Burbank. Yeah, that, that's a good way to do yeah, it. Yeah, that's kind you of know, my hotel. Sleeping at a gas station. <laughs> No, so there was a woman named Claudia Lennington who worked for Colonel Sanders back in the original uh -huh. gas station hotel, I yep. suppose. And she has a family photo album that has a scratch written note on it that her great nephew claims are the original 11 herbs and spices. And I believe this to be true. It was published in the Chicago Tribune. And so we have basil, we have normal salt, which is apparently one of the 11. Normal we have ground salt. oregano here, paprika here. We got black pepper. We have rosemary. We have garlic salt. We have brown powder. <laughs> What do you reckon that brown powder is? Is that ground ginger? Yeah, ground ginger. No, this is ground ginger. The other brown powder is celery salt, and then we got mustard powder, and then white pepper. I love celery salt. I don't. That's what? like, it's a, but okay, it makes it taste good. It tastes like celery. I, we were, you know, I hate celery. Celery's the one thing that I hate. All right, so can you start mixing all the spices together, okay, and then I'm gonna break this. down this chicken. In yeah, this. put it in there, stir it together, and then we're gonna add that to our brine, and I'm gonna break down this chicken. You ever okay. broken down a chicken before? Yeah, you I have? have. I have. Because of without a recipe, and just, you know, you're well, generally. Yeah, the rest, it, that's actually, I just like breaking down chickens. Oh. I would like to learn how 
how to break down other animals as well. I did a little trial by fire where I got like a whole goat in a trash bag. Is that the best way to move I, a goat? I guess it is. No, like honestly, I went to like, it's a really good sustainable whole goat butcher uh, out in North Hollywood. They raise them locally, I think in Pacoima. And uh, I went there and I bought a whole goat and then he just put it in like a glad trash bag. Not a sponsor. Uh, I broke down the chicken, what are you doing? I think I mixed everything in, but I keep try it, sort try it, try of it. grabbing random bowls and not going in any order, so I have no idea. Let's get it. Hold on, hold on, give it a last stir. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I feel like get we should probably hide, hide this one behind like the mountain yogurt. Yeah. Because we want to advertise, we're trying Hello. to get a sponsorship from the Bulgarian tourism Hi. board. That's what the Bulgarian yogurt's about. Hi. Bulgarian yogurt. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's getting pretty good. I'm I sure think... it's good. I mean, it's spices. <laughs> I've kind of said this before, and it's like a really ignorant thing to say. Like, most spices kind of taste the same. Like, you add a ton of them to your things and it tastes good. That's potent. There's something very cabinet-like. Yeah, no, no, like that's a... what I'm saying. It's like you emptied out the whole thing. It tastes like a cabinet, but no, it tastes like this wood. Well, tastes no, like... no, it's when your spices drop onto like the, the wood and they kind of age with it. Yeah. And then you scrape it out in your soup. When I was 22 and we were very poor, when we were hungry late at night, when we were drunk, we would just eat spices. Wait, is that real? Yeah. No, what Because you really just want flavor. <laughs> What? Right? No. And we couldn't, we didn't have a lot of food, so we would pour spices in our hands. I, ramen costs like 12 cents per little brick, and you were just eating the spices? Yeah, we ate the ramen packets too. <laughs> we ate those Once too. Once the ramen packets were gone, you just went for the paprika? Yeah, we just went for the spices. I've had a lot of struggle meals. I talk about them a lot. Like, I was a ketchup sandwich kid, and I've never been to the point where I was just eating oregano. Gotta give it a shot. I'll give it a shot. Put more salt. All right, so we're adding goat milk. Why are we adding goat milk to this? Well, goat milk has a special chemical in it. Uh, it it's called Godius, and what it really does, it's gonna break down that chicken. Oh, and I didn't talk about the chicken. Keith, this is called a green circle chicken. Why? Uh, pass. It's a heritage breed chicken that is, you know how dogs come in different types? I but, sure do. But cats, there's like three. Yeah. But barely. Point is, like, you can get Wagyu beef, you can get all these types of breeds of uh, pork. But you can chicken. only buy a certain kind of cat. <laughs> We've kind of uh, eschewed our sketchy meat habits. You wanna grab that whisk and start whisking stuff up? I'm gonna add a bunch of our 11 herbs and spices. This Brian, this is gonna do like a bulk of the lifting. Uh, and then we're gonna add some of Keith's chicken sauce. Keith's chicken sauce. A not too hot sauce for chicken and other stuff. It's okay, this is gonna add a lovely little hit of acid into yeah. there. I love brining and hot Beautiful. sauce. There we go. I love brining. Y'all yeah. brining your turkeys? For Thanksgiving, you gotta. You sure as S should. You gotta. And basting, I thought that was a myth. I don't base it all, just it. brine, baby. Do it, you coward. <laughs> you won't. I can't, what? I don't like to open the all oven. Right. We got our chicken brine, we're gonna let that sit in the fridge for uh, at least 12 hours, and then, uh, I don't know, we're, we're gonna go I'm sleep I'm only here for today. Yeah, when's your heart out? 12.30. Well, Tomorrow. I don't really, actually, I, well, I was supposed to do something with Terry Crews this afternoon, and he bailed, but I understand, he's yeah. a busy man. <laughs> no, we know him, too. I fed him turkey. Did you? Turkey testicles, yeah. We got the chicken that's been brining. Uh, this is actually, we, we fully swapped this out. This has been brining yeah, overnight. Yeah, all my work is pointless. It's for show, it my was for show. It's, this is if all... you told me that, I would have done something different. House of cards that's all gonna come crashing down one day. All this is an artifice. Honestly though. You're the, not gonna use this flour? I don't think it's up to go. <laughs> Shake that brine off, pop it in the flour, give it a jimmy, and then put it back on there, and that's gonna go back in the flour, back in the brine. And then meanwhile, I'm gonna sit here and look at this that looks like it says This is fat. Yeah, this is artisanally sourced fat. It comes from an artisanal fat well uh, up in the Breckenridge, Colorado region of Breckenridge, Colorado. I'm gonna start right here. You do that. We're gonna get a little like double. Double dip. Double dip action here. Double dip. I'm gonna double dip this in the brine. I like that we're frying this uh, just to then break it down, put it in a pot pie. We kind of forgot about that. But no, that's nuance. that's how they do it. And I think there must be something secret with how that works. We've seen the whole process diagrammed out on a video, right? Like they literally just shred yeah. it and put it into a Ziploc bag. What they do that I don't think they should do is they take the skin off of it. And I'm pretty ethically opposed to that because I think we should leave the skin Skin's off. so good. But I guess it, it can get like, like chewy, you know, in the want it in the soup. I want the, the chewy soup skin that soup. is the pot pie. This is a like soup. Almost. Big breast. I yeah, know, right. This is oh really an obscenely God. large. This is gonna take a minute to cook, man. Wow. Well, the good news is our duck fat over here. Also, oh, we're this is duck fat. We made a lot of jokes about it. We forgot to tell you what the product is. It's called duck fat. It's the fat of a duck. Uh, it's not from Breckenridge, Colorado. It does have a penis, and it actually has like a. Uh, you know about duck penises? Yeah. Yep. Yep. We have the same knowledge base. We. Yeah. We should have had somebody else on here, cause then we, they can compliment each. You know what I mean? No, it's nicer to hear the Do same. You want to hang twice. out with Nicole? Cause duck fat, duck penises, they explode, right? I guess I'll hang out with Nicole. They're like. A curly cute. Nicole, how much you know about? Not a lot. 
You're always very tempted to just fry your fingers at this point. Uh, right? Always. Wait, You're but none of us have ever done it. It was delicious. Because someone always stops me from doing it, but I think we should. What's the hottest or the least hot oil can be to fry and not burn you? Like, what do you mean? Like 103 degrees. Like the, no, like the frying is like what degrees. the frying is like what burns. That's the point. Look at you. Well, you can Look like, at, can you're you living can, like, a dangerous that. life over there. Yeah, I mean, well, you can do it, man. I'm saying it can <laughs> be would. done, and I think people are cowards. You're a kitchen guy. Yeah. You live in the kitchen, huh? Yeah. This is your house. I really do. No, no, These no. Are your pillows. Real. Yeah, we know. We have a cot over there. A cot? Yeah, yeah, we have a cot. Well, it's not a cot. It's more just like a kind of bundle of like, um, it's all the lint for the lint roller, and we just kind of like put it in like a Ziploc bag and use it as a pillow. Environmentally friendly. Yeah. All right, so we got, there we go. Perfect. Wow. Well, we got a whole pot full of chicken. Kind of got to crowd the pan over there, huh? Yeah, you know, crowd well, the pan. chicken, but don't you come in here and criticize my cooking ability. So chicken, uh, when you fry it, you're probably not going to get a lot of steam off it because the flour is going to caramelize and crisp immediately. So I don't mind crowding the pan. Also, mm. the oil temp is going to need to drop to about 325. That's the optimal chicken frying temperature for me. Is it? Anything above that, and I think you're going to burn the outside, especially after that breast cook. Breast, we're going to try and get to an internal temp of about 147, 148. That way, when you pull it, it's going to get up to 160. And then thighs and legs, I like to leave in longer, get it all the way up to 180. Really? Yeah, people always say chicken's cooked at 160, and that's true, but I think thighs are actually better once some of that uh, interconnected tissue has a chance to break down. Uh -huh. I do agree. I think you can really cook the heck out of thighs. You can't ruin them. It's yeah. the only meat you need. You can't ruin them. You can't ruin them. Right, I dare thighs. you. I double you dog dare you. you. Shut it, it down! Six days. You want know, to start hacking those chickens up? I guess so. Yeah, do it. Just bash them. Just any old way? Yeah, yeah. No, harder, Keith, harder. Do it like I you mean it. I didn't do anything. You put in good. some damn effort I gave it for a once. Mike. Like, it was like I gave it a, like a, a strong bruise. That's well, I got like to go for the tissue. joints. No, no, no. You I wanna, the joints. I would have gone like through it that way. Well, you know, I should do it the way that like northern Chinese food is prepared, where the chicken is just cut higgledy piggledy. Dude, I love that. No, no, that's my favorite cut of fried higgledy chicken. Higgledy piggledy. Higgledy it's piggledy just, any fried old chicken. Way, you might get a full piece of fried bone. I'd be like, hmm. I love that because then you suck the batter off the bone. It really splashes when you chop it. Yeah, yeah, but we'll bash it harder and it won't splash. You really take some open-handed swings. Now you're just kind of mashing at it. There it is. Do your dance, Keith. Do your chicken hey, mashing dance, buddy. Hey, I'm having a good hey, time. Hey. I'm having a good time chopping a chicken. There's ch ch chicken juice flying everywhere. Yeah, yeah, no, there's a whole, we're all infected. It's fine, it's fine. No one's ever died from salmonella. Someone fact check that. Lots of people have died from salmonella, sorry. All right, so I got I got leeks, onions, and carrots. We're making broth right now. If nobody could tell, that's what this whole we're making broth. Was. Making broth. We're having a good time. So broth bros. So we're getting, do you think there's room for a spinoff? Broth bros. Broth bros. Broth bros. I think that'd be a broth good you with Swansons. Today we're making broth. Come on, and then Every tomorrow day we make broth. More broth. Broth brothers. Broth. That's it. Yeah, yeah. We got two episodes in us, and then we're Most gonna be like expensive broth. We'll make veggie broth, chicken broth, beef broth. Big bra. Female spinoff. Stock sisters. Stock sisters. <laughs> uh, uh, what's that? That's red miso. So wait, I should explain what we're doing. We're oh making, yeah, what are we yeah, doing? Yeah, so uh, broth. We're the broth bros. Uh, they're bros. stock sisters, but we are making essentially a tori python broth. So this is actually my favorite. Tori python ramen is my single favorite style of ramen. It has that cloudiness of like a tonkotsu broth, but it's made from chicken. And the way that you do that is you take chicken and you cook it to hell for like 24 hours. We're using a pressure cooker for about an hour and a half to the point where the bones actually get so soft that you can blend them. And so we're gonna blend the bones to extract all the marrow out of them. And we're gonna add miso. We're also gonna add a little bit of uh, mousse de canard. There's just a little bit of duck liver mousse right here. The legal stuff. You don't mess around with the I didn't say interstate anything. laws over here. But uh, we're gonna blend the bones, then we're gonna strain it, and then we are going to add miso and a little bit of this delicious uh, soto unfiltered sake right here. Uh, just add a little bit of complexity. I'm gonna deglaze oh, really, with that right now. I really made some damage on this cutting board. Yeah, man, yeah, it's wow. fine, we'll get a new one. Look at that. I'm not gonna lie, man, one time we made like a $300 burger and I just uh, hacked the hell out of the cutting board and I got like a bunch of splinters and this really nice beef and we just ate it, dude. We just ate the splinter. You can meat. eat trees. You, just, you can eat trees. You can eat trees. If you can digest it, you can eat it. You That's what I would say. What is, no, oh what? yeah. Duck liver miss. it's nice. He didn't touch the spoon, so I can still eat it. As long as you kind of donkey live it. Not so much flavor this early in the morning. It's good, there's nutrients. It's gonna be really nice. It's gonna make the broth extra yeah. rich. It's good. It is, I mean, that is, that is wow, a good duck really liver miss. Holy cow. And so that's gonna end up in that gravy. You wanna just toss all that chicken in right now? Yeah, just, just slap it in, man. There's no wrong way to do it. I have a single garlic clove. That's really gonna go. Hey, where'd the KFC spices go? All right, we're gonna add some of the, the last for KFC spice into there. It might save some for Dustin later. Uh, you want this whole my... set of two chickens? 
I'm really trying yeah, to. Yeah, why not, man? You can't take it, it with water, you. But die, I guess the know? water's going yeah, in. Yeah, the water's going in. We can pour the water in. Just the water's. I'm gonna, I'm gonna touch it. Just touch it with your hands. Yeah, yeah. Wee. No, I touch everything with my hands in there. It's like pretty upsetting. Fine. I was dipping it in the oil. Yeah, I saw you. You just put your hands right in that hot oil. Yeah, you. The oil's more afraid of you than you are of it. That's something I believe. I can just toss that whole thing in there too. You're Who cares? thinking of dogs. Dog, we got any onions? Some dogs are more afraid of you than you are of them. Yeah. Other dogs. Aren't mm -mm. fearless. I'm afraid of dogs. Uh, Some emotionally. dogs are scary. They're big. <laughs> All right, we're gonna pop the lid on this. Then we're gonna pressure cook it for like an hour. Where'd the lid go? <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> Stupid idiot, that's not a hat. You absolute moron. All right, oh, so uh, we like that phone. <laughs> don't, don't be a straightener. I don't get the reference. Oh! Be quick, but don't hurry. And there it goes. That's about what I expected to happen. There you that's go, That's a full sir. blender. Now this it's is gonna be a disaster. Close. This is gonna be a disaster, and we're just gonna turn it on, <laughs> see what happens. What? Who? Oh, who's protesting? You protesting makes me want to do it more. Keith, what do you say? I think you should do I it. We, we're, do this it. It's, we're this far. It's on, it's we're like, this dude, far. It's on. It's like, dude, it's on low. It's we, on, where are we gonna go? It's on. Low, go back. And it's fine. And we're gonna blend the bones, and nothing bad's gonna happen. Oh god! Oh no! The bones are blending. Now we're just gonna pour this in there, and then uh, we're gonna kind of mash it around. It's about to get heavy because that's a lot of chicken bones. So if you see <coughs> some of the chicken bones got in my throat, and so I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna kind of hit him with one of these, mm, and then we're this gonna is start just a fire. gonna yeah, yeah, yeah. Going camp. Like a flint. This is gonna take a long time. Huh? It is, huh? Yeah. Well, how, how are your forearms feeling? It's not good. Feeling good. Well, yeah, I don't have, have to. Look at uh, they're gonna have to. Are most of the comments like, man, his arms? Yeah, by design. If you work on your arms, you don't have to wor uh, work on your personality. Now there's bones in the soup. Uh -oh. Are you happy, Keith? There's bones I, in the soup. I that was you. That, uh uh. I feel that like was that us. was you. That was us. <laughs> you and me. The Broth Brothers. Broth Brothers could be like a professional wrestling team. I kind of work better when it's silent. All right, so we're, we're heating the duck fat. We're making a duck fat roux over here. You'll and roux the so day. Can you put that in there? Yeah. Yeah. This whisk is too big. Oh, this now it's really streaming. Big. Yeah, well, I need it now. Oh, I'm still going. Just follow me. Just follow me. Just follow me in. Just, I can't do it with one hand. You got Why is it. It, how cold is this? The pan's been on for 20 minutes. How cold is this pan? What's going on? It kind of looks like Here. so many different kinds of vomit. Yeah. Like there's like <laughs> recently eaten food vomit. There's ah. like very digestible. No, no, vomit. you know what this is? So every time uh, I'm hungover, I really crave like Jewish deli food. Uh huh. And so you get like, you know, the kippers and onions, Ooh. you get the, the, chop, the chopped chicken liver, mm -hmm. you got a Reuben. This smells like Thousand Island in liver that's been thrown up with a little bit of fish aftertaste. He nailed it. Vomit sommelier. Yeah. I'm a vomelier. Vomelier. All right, well. Hey, all right, all right. Hey, there keep shaking hey, that. Hey, About 15 go. minutes is gonna come together into gravy, and then we're gonna make a damn pie. We'll be right back. We'll be right. <laughs> Barth, just cut it. Just stop. Just end our misery. <laughs> Here, you said you hadn't really eaten much today. Have a spoonful of gravy. All right. That'll right. lay a base. You just need to kind of coat your stomach. Hot as possible. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that's it's got of, some flavors that's in there. That's a lot of flavor. That's a lot of liver flavor, but I'm not mad about it. No, it's really good. I kind of love that. It's I'm gonna, really good. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit more of our just delicious KFC seasoning. It could be a little sweeter. A little it's sweeter? like very savory. What kind of gravies are you eating? I mean, just I'm not saying like <laughs> pour sugar in it. I'm just I'm saying it's some like some Goldschlager in it. Now. I don't know. Cinnamon is the choice. I think cinnamon I don't, is don't the know flavor. why the Goldschlager. I must explain. I think this is a we real <laughs> mistake. <laughs> it's either this or Jaeger that's going in there. I think Jaeger would handle it better. We we bought the fanciest liquor possible. This is Goldschlager. It's got real gold in it. I've never actually had this. Did not know it was cinnamon flavored. It's sure cinnamon flavored. It's really cinnamon. It smells like Atomic Fireballs, the candy that no one wants on Halloween. And so anyways, uh, we're gonna put it in our egg wash because I got it and I need to put it somewhere. And this is gonna represent eight cents on the score sheet at the end. And like everyone says and when here. they get their eggs. Could I have some cinnamon? <laughs> Just some cinnamon. Do you have any cinnamon for my I eggs? Rip off that breast, start cutting it with that there knife. I'm gonna okay. take, with my chicken grease hands, I'm gonna take some of this pie dough and I'm gonna, just gonna Look mat it. It. It, just, it. It just comes apart, it just falls apart. It's good, well, we fried it and we kind of burnt it and messed yeah. up and then yeah, we put it in the oven. Don't look at this side. Don't look at that side. Don't That's look at the that side. side. There's nothing for you nothing, there. Nothing to see on that side. Like, don't, don't go behind the Arco when I'm sleeping. I'm gonna trim around this here pie crust. And then, yeah, I don't wanna, now that we're here, I don't wanna make this into a pie. I just wanna eat that chicken and then have a nice bowl of peas. Chicken with a side of peas. Here's a, here's a question that I got. Why does KFC put peas in their pot pie, but I can't just get a side of peas? What are they doing with the rest of them? You ever think about that? Cause here's the thing, I'd love a side of hot buttered peas, you know, to go with my coleslaw and then I mix it in with the slaw so you get the cold mayonnaise with the hot peas. But they don't- You ever been to the KFCs that got the uh, buffet? The buffet? The buffet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they're fun. Where's the closest one to here? Uh, the south. <laughs> Not here at all. Tennessee. <laughs> it's only white meat right now. No, uh, get some dark meat. Get some dark yeah. meat. Yeah, here. Let's I'll get some thigh in here. I wonder if I can just kind of like. No. It's not garlic. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm going to start shucking it. Shucking it. Shucking it in. 
I wow. got it! Guys. I got it! That was unbelievable. I got it! I got it between my feet! Incredible! Yeah! Yeah! That's it! If, if, if this is the NFL, that's a catch. And now I'm gonna stomp it and shatter it in celebration. <laughs> I got this. This is duck on V. Eat some duck. I'll put it in. We the didn't even show this. We honestly, we kinda <laughs> we kinda ordered some duck and was like, I don't think we can put it in there. And we're like, should we just come feed with KFC spice? Yep, here we go. Wow. Toss that in there. That's gonna be nice. We have some potatoes. These are fancy because they're I probably from like a Ralph's. Yeah, that's a good store. Mm. They got nice potatoes. We had some peas. Rainbow carrots, when you cook them, they all turn brown. Uh-huh. <laughs> so that's fancy. Mmm, that's good. Some you of that in there. Put this whole piece of skin in your mouth. What? Put it all in your mouth. Oh, it's soft. Put it all whole thing in. No, no, it's not good. Wow. Look at it go. I'm nice. I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go stuff. Hands are covered in chicken grease. We're gonna pop. Pop a little lid on top. Mm -hmm. uh, we're just gonna go around. There's not a lot of places in LA to get a good chicken bot bite. No, I don't know why? Almost none. <laughs> I keep, it's the Marcona almonds. Uh huh. Sure. Uh, it's uh, so. Oh we got. We 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 pretty much did it. Mm -hmm. We gotta like put that on baking. Would you put two bees on it for the broth brothers? Keith, what if I told you we we got something even cooler we can put on there? How could you possibly have something? <laughs> ye, ye of little faith. It's not Broth Brothers. We're gonna get sued. Broth Brothers. <laughs> Keith, we got a whole finished pot pie in there. Are you ready to see it? I sure are am. Are you ready to see this pot pie, Keith? All right, let's, let's get some noise. Let's make some Move noise. Move that pie. Make some noise, noise everybody. Let's All get right. it out. Let's get it out. It's oh, burning my eyes. My gosh. Look at that. You we made the it. logo. We made the. Oh my gosh. Trip. Yeah, we made the tricycle. Wow. Trevor, honestly, Trevor did it because he's more better at those than I am. It's really well done. Yeah. It smells great. I'm pretty soaked. It's going to taste really good. Look at the corners. All the bones are there. Pastries Dang. and yeah. And they say circles don't have corners. Uh, I don't know yeah. if this is a phantom Goldschlager smell, but I smell the Goldschlager. Yeah, there's something, yeah, there's that's something, there's something that's odd upsetting. in there. Well, <laughs> either way. <laughs> so we got the original KFC pot pie. Let's just uh, look at these. You know, to sort of compare. Honestly, that's, that's good color. That still looks. I thought <laughs> that color looks. Pretty I forgot incredible. what this looked like, and then this looks better than ours. It looks and so good. now I'm mad. Well, let's see if we can beat it in taste. And I don't know that we can. Let's try. It. Let's dig into the to the KFC one first. I don't know why I gave you forks to dual wheels. <laughs> well, I can just go in here because you see a spoon. This part's for stirring, and then uh -huh. this part's yeah, that's for right. Yeah, I actually yeah. try to use only the little neck that dips. Yeah, yeah. no, that's proper. Scoop. Yeah, it's the Bulgarian way. Uh -huh. Callback. I mean that. It is a this, this kind is, of perfect This is a, pie. how do they do this so good? I don't know, and, and like the big chunks of chicken, the pulled chicken, Yeah, that's a crust. creamy gravy in there. Yeah, it smells great. I don't know that I can imagine a better taste than that. <laughs> that's a problem for us, because we put like a lot of stuff in there, and their gravy comes from a packet. Uh, this is just, it's powder mixed with water that yeah. they put in some like, cooked vegetables with leftover fried chicken. And it's the best tasting thing in the it's world. It's great. It's it, incredible. It has a great butter flavor. Try ours. Hey, which part of the triceratops do you want? The leaves. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll go for a leaf too. I mean, it is thick. This is gonna be too hot. Our crust didn't get it as much color, but our gravy is grayer. Holy cow. And so I like that. Is this bite big enough? Yeah, it's, it's hot. It's too hot. I'll put it in the mouth. I'll put it in. It's too hot. It's too hot. You're gonna burn yourself. Mm. Wow, this is a lot of meat. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. yeah. I mean, whoa. There's a lot more dimensions of flavor in there. Mm -hmm. A duck mm -hmm. is doing a lot of work. Mm -hmm. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Are you full? Are you full after no, you No, I'm not full. Oh, I'm not full. I feel like I just <laughs> ran. <laughs> I just like, my, my body was like, oxygen now. You feel the angina setting in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm panting. The taste is really good. Yeah, the really gravy good. has a huge depth of flavor mm -hmm. from all that like liver in there. Uh -huh. And then it's also super creamy without the addition of starch. So you're getting so much chicken flavor extracted from that. The duck confit is great. The chicken remains juicy by soaking up the gravy. My taste is cinnamon. That's right. <laughs> we made this. Uh -huh. We put a lot of stuff in it. But sure how does. much? is the pie. $209.70, but there's a reason for that. For just right? this pie? For just that pie, yeah, well, if you think about it, we put like a lot of wow. lemon there. That chicken was really expensive because we got it shipped. $209. Too much for a pie, that's too much money that's, to pay for a I, pie. If you told me, if I was in a uh -huh. restaurant, they're like, this pie is $209, like, oh, I'll yeah, leave. I'll well, leave then. But there's a three nines markup. So this would be a six hundred dollar pie at a restaurant because then there's service. Wow. You know. Uh huh. It's like, this is too much. Too much for a pie. To me, uh -huh. the, the art does justify the price. I don't remember that. I'm much. really proud of what we created. Dark meat. I think we bonded. Mm. Making some art together. Mm. I found out that I like your burger sauce. Yeah, get a little. Yeah, get in. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I do want to like. There you go. 
I'm gonna crawl into bed. I'm gonna make a little hole. I'm gonna make a little. Oh, wow. I'm gonna dig a little Keith hole. Wow, in the that was good. I'm gonna bury Keith in this little hole in the pie. I do wanna get in bed. I'm gonna mouth my little Keith hole. Put me to bed. You wanna go to bed, buddy? We got, we got yeah. cot. We kept talking about that cot. I don't we see cot. I just see like a fake stone bench. Nicole, can we get the cot? We got new Please. shows just like this one. Every day. But also other ones. Check out the backlog. I got big backlog of content. Go look at that. Check it out. We have a podcast? Not you and I, me and Nicole. You have a podcast with other people. Well, we have the Broth Brothers. We have the Broth Brothers podcast. Soon. It's coming soon. We need a sponsor. Broth, Broth Brothers. Brothers. We also got an Instagram, Zad Mythical Kitchen, that you can um, talk at us can near. To. Follow it. The Follow. More, the more subscribers you have, the more money you the get more to I charge love myself. brands. That's 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 mostly. What's your personal it. Instagram? That's at Mythical Chef Josh. It's mostly shirtless photos now because right. I pigeonholed myself into a thirst trap account. Do you ever put the dishes on your chest? No, oh, that'd be a good idea. That'd be a good idea. Keith, where can the viewers find you? Well, you can find me over at youtubecom guys. You can find me on Instagram at Keith Habs. And yeah, I'm one of the Try Guys. Oh, and you and you. You can check out old, old mythical Chef Josh over here on the or Without a Recipe series this winter. He's a special judge. I won't spoil how it went. It didn't go great for me. Do you think people <laughs> type the full URL in? Whoa. <laughs> hey, cook up your own feast while wearing the Mythical Kitchen Apron. Available now at mythical.com.